it's coming. So I, I have a very bright outlook for my future. That was Sherilyn Reemsma the day she was discharged from the inpatient rehab at Avera McKinnon. And this is her a few months later, continuing her rehab journey from stroke at Haig Health Center in Rock Valley. There, I think there's just been overall good improvements. Um, my legs are stronger. I can walk further. She has me jumping in the pool and I didn't jump that well before. We have everything all here. She's doing PT, she's doing OT. She did speech at the very beginning, um, but she graduated from that because she's doing so awesome. She's so highly motivated to come in and do things on her own. She wants to get better. So that makes it very easy on our end. <laughs> Physical therapist Sarah Crank says having these rehab services in a patient's home community also has an impact on motivation for recovery. If they are like, I don't, I'm not gonna drive 45, 50 minutes to an hour just for like three times a week you know, to come and do that, that's a lot to ask of somebody. For me and my husband, it would be much more stressful if we had to drive way into Sioux Falls. It's just really good. You're here with people you sort of know and you get to know. It's just better. Sherilyn is her toughest critic. And even though the steps are small, her team reinforces just how significant they are. They keep saying, you're doing so well, have patience. And I'm not a, I can be patient, but not always with myself. A lot of reminders on making sure like you are making progress. Um, and then we are constantly resetting goals for her too, which is great. That means she's meeting goals, so we get to set new ones for her. I'm looking forward to throwing my walker at the wall and getting a cane um, and then throwing that cane out the door too sometime or just, well, we'll, at our house it gets hung up in the garage. Ditching the cane isn't the only goal. You may remember Sherilyn's passion for music and the piano. Well, just take a listen for yourself. She's so easy to work with because she's so motivated and that makes our job so much easier when people really want to get better. And so that drives us to be like, okay, well, let's work on this next. Let's work on this next. And I think that is very fulfilling as a therapist to see that too. They're wonderful. Uh, they're, they're patient and they push me, but they are very encouraging as well. They're just terrific. They're all around. Everybody here has been just terrific. So it's been good. It's been really good.